Today is going to be a very quick tip on how to navigate Pro Tools faster because I have a method that I use that I think is probably the fastest way to do it. And I don't think most people know how to do it. First off, I do want to say thank you for watching. And if you want to level up your mixes, I do have a free mixing resource workshop down below called Standout Mixes. It's taught from my good friend and co-host at the Self Recording Band podcast, Bandit Kind, and everybody's been loving it. I think you will too. Please do go check that out. But let's get into this little trick. There's one required bit of information you need to know in order for this to make sense. And that is how to make memory locations. And if we're looking at my session, you can see I have a whole whack of markers here. And these are also called memory locations. So at course two, I have one that says course two. At course one, I have one that says course one. You can have as many as you want, be as detailed or as vague as you want, but they are very handy in visualizing your session, just looking at it, but they're also extremely valuable to navigate your session quickly. And you may have noticed that up here on the right side of my screen, I'm gonna drag this into the center, we have a memory locations window. If you haven't seen that before, you can find that under a window and go to memory locations. Alternatively, you can click command five on a full size keyboard and that will pop it up as well. I try to keep this window visible pretty much at all times because as you will see, it speeds up navigating my session a lot. There's two ways to use these memory markers to get around quickly. First off, you can just click wherever you'd like on this list and it'll take you to that spot, such as if I click on bridge, my cursor moves to the bridge. If I go to the top, it moves to the top. Very easy to do that. But if you are not a mouse guy and you like to try and use your keyboard for everything, you can do that too. You do need one of these. You need a full size keyboard to be able to use a lot of the Pro Tools shortcuts. It's just kind of a reality. So if you're a laptop worker, this won't work for you. But if you are like a lot of Pro Tools users using a full size keyboard, you're gonna be fine. So what you'll need to do is if you're looking at your memory locations window again, you'll see that there's a number associated with each marker and those are auto-generated each time you make a marker. So they aren't numbered from left to right chronologically, they're numbered from their order of creation. So if you make the outro marker first, it's gonna be called number one. I don't love this about it, but that is the way it is. But the important part is knowing where to find those numbers. And that is why I keep this visible because when I look at this, I can say, okay, maybe I wanna to go to verse one and I can see that it is memory location two. And all I would do then on my keyboard is click the far right in the number pad section. This will all be done in that part of your keyboard. Click period two period. And that will take you to that specific marker. Now for sake of example, let's say we wanna to go to our bridge. I'm gonna click period one zero period. And now we are at our bridge. Our transport has moved to that spot. So you just get really quick with your number pad and you can just fly around the session without even needing to grab your mouse. The quickest people I've seen with Pro Tools rarely need to touch their mouse, honestly. So learning these shortcuts has always been a way of just making your sessions more efficient and the musical parts taking priority rather than just scrolling around looking for a certain section. Memory markers, number one, and then figuring out how to use memory markers efficiently being number two. Okay, again, thank you for watching. Very quick video today, just a small tip. I hope it helps you though. And yeah, don't forget to check out the Standout Mixes resource down below if you wanna level up your mixes. And if you enjoyed this, leave a comment down below, let me know. It's really nice hearing from people and I appreciate it so much. Take care, bye, see you next week.